first thing you do when you get up in the morning, you will judge. Judge, I visit them here without warning. Ah. Visit every wicked generation and cry in his anger. Ah. And them generation reach and them reap without labor. What is and now the whole of them sentimentalizing of them thing? With my sentimentality, polarity, you cannot tamper. I know business about your childhood, you have a picture. Vanish away. 
But now that you have the truth, do you have the ability to, though, in the future, if you were to meet somebody mm -hmm. whose truth includes Christmas and includes celebration, includes these holidays, would you be able to participate? No, I can never participate. It's just the things that I know now. So you would never be able to get her a gift? Nothing like that even from The only way I give I give my lady a, a gift, my my madam, you know what I mean, is is by me, you know. It would be like an everyday thing, you know. I don't have to wait for a day for, for me to show her my love or gifts, you know what I mean? It would be like a any given day you will get a gift, baby. I don't need for the government to tell me this is the day I'm supposed to give you a gift or a Valentine, kiss or chocolate. You know what I mean? I'll just give it to you in any given day. You know what I mean? You sound high. I like that. I like that too. But is it true? <laughs> yes, like every true. day. Like not every day, but not every day, but some you like would every go day. out of your way to make sure that your lady feel appreciated. I'll definitely go out of my way. You know what I mean? Because that's my lady. I have to treat her like you know what I mean? The way a man's supposed to treat a, a, a woman. You know what I mean? Not everybody has your vibe. Right mm -hmm. now, unfortunately, there's a lot of people that think relationships are easily just replaceable. Mm -hmm. Like, people forget that just because we're in a fight, that doesn't take the importance away that mm -hmm. I have or you have. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take away the value that you bring to my life. We're mad at that moment. Don't mm -hmm. do something that you, we can't get over mm -hmm. that moment. Don't say something. Mm -hmm. We can't get over that moment. Have you guys ever seen yourself in that scenario where somebody just says something or does something to you and you just don't know what to do? Yes. And what would you, like, what, how, what happened? Sometimes you gotta just leave the person alone, let them have that moment. Because when you get in a fight, you should, like, separate. Because things that you say to someone, you sometimes don't want to say to them. Mm. And it backfires on you mm -hmm. at the end. It does. And I've regrettably lost a lot of friendships and relationships this way. But I've learned not to apologize. Mm -hmm. I apologize to my mom and I apologize to certain people. And it depends on what it is. Mm -hmm. But it reaches a, a certain point. I don't apologize. Right. If you do something... And I've always warned the person. I'm very clear. I'll give you a warning. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to go there? Yeah. Do you really want to start <laughs> yes. Because ask anybody in my family, it's called la vie That means I'm going to wash you, wash you with insults. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to use my hands to hurt your feelings. Nobody does. Nobody does. Right, right. But I always ask, you want to go there? Because then it's tit for tat for both of us. You have no limits, I have no limits. But mm -hmm. I'm coming for your throat. And I'm going to say what I mean. I'm not going to say something I don't mean. And I heard a lot of people, they go into these type of insults, like, you're a piece of shit. You're not. Like, mm -hmm. you're not. I'm just going to be like, what you did is fucking awful. Mm -hmm. And I'll just be mad. I'll use curse. I'll do things like that. I'll just be clear about it. And I'm not going to be nice to you. But I just don't feel like I have to use derogatory, like, derogatory, like, names to get my point across or make you understand how you make me feel. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. So, um, let me answer your question. Uh, um, are you, you never trying to be an artist, like a singer, you know what I mean, rapper, yeah, music director, or anything like that? Have you ever had a scratch table, guys, like as a DJ? Like, you have a spin of records and then go, <laughs> yeah, that's me. <missing>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I do not have, well, I have, like, the voice that you will go to Jesus and be like, shout to the Lord all here. Yeah, I can do that. But if you want me to pull an Ariana Grande... You never been in the church choir? Oh, yeah, I had to. You know, with the Haitian parents every Sunday from, like, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And wow. then the one hour of talking of the goodbyes. Have you ever seen a Haitian go by? Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm going to see you next week. Okay, yeah. Shelly. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three, five minutes later is when the actual phone call mm -hmm. And that's what comes Wow. Out. That's what conversation mm. So. What about you, Madam Brown? You never been in the church choir. You never had. Uh, you never get a chance to, uh, you know, try to be an artist, a singer, an R and B singer, no. a dancehall artist. You know, I mean, don't see why. You know, I mean, so. no. <laughs> but our family does. We do. Um, we be singing just in our family doing things. We used to do like when we was little. You ever been little and you go get a song and say. And get like three of the girls together and we're like, let's sing. And we just sing to our parents. Well, how did you get the name Little? 
my last name, that's my dad's name. Oh, that's okay. Okay, cool, okay. Right. So he made your, his last name your first name? Huh? That's my dad's last name.